It's been a pretty quiet week in terms of getting stuff done with Kevin, sadly. I've had a lot of other stuff to do. But I have been able to, I think, solve the battery mounting problem. And uh, I'm about to make one or two other kind of minor changes as well. So this is the battery shelf I've made. It's made just from a kind of angle iron for a welded base and a couple of uprights to support it. Um, I never did quite get my uh, quality of welding to a particularly great state, so if you look too close it doesn't look brilliant, but it should certainly do the job. And just to support the batteries there is um, a kind of an acrylic shelf, kind of siliconed in place. I had a variety of mounting options for the batteries. Originally they kind of took up this whole space here, but I kind of needed to make it a little bit more compact. And so I was kind of trying to work out how to mount them, kind of uh, stacked up along this way or kind of different orientations. But then I kind of spotted this and this, this gap in here is uh, remarkably kind of perfect in size. And so I thought was, I can stack a load of batteries along here. And so that's what the shelf is for. So the shelf will attach underneath here. Like so allowing batteries to stack up as they wish. This way it takes up a very kind of narrow amount of space in the top, doesn't go too high, and eases some of the wasted space below. So the battery enclosure has now been mounted. I've riveted that on and I've also added um, a kind of a support brace down the middle to stop the batteries falling over. I've also added another power cable running into the control box. And so I've got two kind of core power cables running out to the batteries. At the moment there's kind of one per battery but I think I can easily add little wire splitters to the end here if I needed to add or connect in a few more batteries to support that. And so I think this is um, kind of in place. I'm pretty happy with it. I think it certainly does the job. And um, now to kind of move on to fixing up some other bits in here. The other week when I was reprogramming the kind of controller in here, the environmental kind of system, I added a kind of status light to it, a kind of single kind of RGB LED. And so that's fine, but I was rummaging through parts the other day and I found I had a, a few of the kind of Adafruit NeoPixel rings and these are just um, kind of 16 RGB LEDs in a circle. And so I thought that might be cooler. And so I'm going to switch out the original LED with this and also kind of deal with the mounting problem as well. So I've got these original holes in here. And so what I've come up with is a mounted plate to cover it that um, will sit on like so. And the light will then shine through the back. This is kind of a kind of non-see-through acrylic, but the light's bright enough that I'll be able to see it and should produce quite a nice effect. I've cut the hole out of here. It's a little bit ugly but with the front panel kind of riveted on, you don't see a thing. And so I'm gonna attach this on now, and I'm just gonna glue it straight to the surface using silicon. And that's also one of the benefits of using this kind of non-see-through acrylic, in that it doesn't matter how I mount it, because it's not gonna be visible. I was about to start kind of programming this up and altering it to work with the ring rather than the light. And for some reason, the ring has decided to break annoyingly on the journey from home to the workshop. So if I plug it in, it does kind of its all white thing. There's one LED which seems to be kind of uh, running but I'm guessing that kind of an input or output of one of the chips has blown for some reason because they're a pain in the ass. So I've kind of taken it off the board and I'm going to have to kind of pop over tomorrow to finish this off. I've replaced the light with a new functional one. And it is actually looking really cool. I think it's well worth uh, the effort to get this switched over. I've got it programmed up now with three different kind of light animations. Uh, kind of a, a fairly subtle kind of green good effect. A kind of an intermediate yellow warning light. And an error situation. If I turn this on now, you should see it go straight to the green OK state. The animation I've gone for here is just a very subtle green pulse in and out. I, I really quite like the status lights, like this as a, a ring, so I may end up using it somewhere else and I don't want it to be covered in loads of flashing lights. In addition to the green kind of successful state, you can also see here the error state, which is kind of a red rotating ring, and the warning state, which is uh, again a rotating but slightly more subtle yellow lights. 
Despite not getting much done this week, I am really pleased with what I have achieved. The batteries have a home. I mean, they're, they're not kind of knocking around the place and I think it should kind of extend quite nicely with um, future options. In addition to that, the control box has been finished off. I've got the kind of mounting on the top done and quite a cool new status light in place. Uh, for next week, I'm hopefully going to try and get a safety feature done, a device I've been working on to try and isolate the motors from the rest of the system.